Hey, welcome back. It's a really good thing to begin the day trying to serve the Lord Jesus. We're in the book of Lamentations. We're just about in the middle now, about halfway through. And our reading today takes us to Lamentations chapter 3, verses 28 to 30. Let's, let's get it right in front of us. Let him sit alone and keep silent because God has laid it on him. Let him put his mouth in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him give his cheek to the one who strikes him and be full of reproach. Well, sometimes we've been noticing, especially in the experience of Jeremiah, a hard experience. And this scripture tells us, let him sit alone and keep silent because God has laid it on him. Put his mouth in the dust. You know, there, there are times when we need to simply bear the hard things. We need to simply trust in him and we'll be mistreated, we'll be maligned, we'll be ridiculed. People will laugh at us and say we're crazy, we're extremist or uh, whatever. But you know what? None of that really matters. What's the chaff to the wheat? What we need to do is, is keep, keep our eye on the way the Lord, the King of the universe, is leading us. And that will be just fine. It doesn't matter what people say or what names they call us. What matters is that we're faithful. That's all. And so if we have things that seem like hard experiences, let's be true to the Lord and let the bricks fall where they may. The, the Lord will be on our side. Our passage also says that there may yet be hope. In other words, character, this kind of uh, being under reproach, this is a character building experience and it's, it's good for us. Biblically, there are many examples. Uh, how many times did some of the apostles in the time of Jesus, how many times did they sort of mess things up? Sometimes they messed them up pretty well. But you know what? The Lord didn't abandon them or, or reproach them really almost ever. He, he was building, God was building something. He was building their character. What about people in the Bible like Joseph who went to prison? He was totally innocent. And yet he spent many years in prison and in lowly places. God developed his character. God helped him know how to be a faithful servant. And in the end, he saved an enormous number of lives because of the famines there in Egypt. What about people like Daniel? Daniel, who uh, again was carried into captivity. He himself was faithful, but his, his country was, was not. So he goes into captivity. He faces many tests and many challenges. Read about them in the book of Daniel. What, a, what an, a tremendous book, tremendous lessons in a very short space. Read those lessons in the first six chapters of the book of Daniel. You'll be uh, really benefited by noticing how much God was working to grow Daniel's character. And it didn't just happen because, you know, God gave Daniel a magic carpet ride uh, through all these easy things. No, Daniel had some pretty hard pieces. And the Lord worked in that and brought Daniel uh, to a place where he could, he could really be used for the kingdom. So character building, hard things bring and help us so that we become more right, more right with God, more right with the world, better representatives of Jesus. If there was no other reason than that, we should, um, you know, bite our, bite our lower lip and just uh, endure the things that seem hard in the moment for the sake of the Lord Jesus. And what lessons might we draw, you know, from this? Well, this life is where we learn to be like God. We are copying him, emulating him, uh, seeking to let him recreate his image in us. We're distinct people. We're not the same per exact personality. Each person's their own personality, but God is making many, many beautiful representations of what unselfishness and love is like. And so he's, he's working to do that with your life experience and with mine. So we want to uh, let God work in us. We want to let him build. And sometimes you've really got to hold on tight and make sure you're just allowing him to work. The Lord is working on us, and we can trust him to do that work. Let's, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to let you work for us. We're going to have uh, challenging experiences, and that is by design. It's, it's the way you work in our life to draw us close to your kingdom. So do it, Lord. Help us to be willing to work with you. And Lord, make something beautiful. Uh, you're making something remarkable out of out of such disastrous material, and it's to your glory. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So the Lord will be with you today. Relax, trust him, and go forward.